It's too hot to be picked up. I can't move it. Are beautiful. Beautiful? What's so beautiful about my house burning down? That's the beauty. It's your house that's burning down. I still can't see the beauty in that. The quality of living in my house is going down every minute. But as the owner, you can answer an important question. Do you by any chance have any sausages on you? What? You see, I always mean to take sausages along. Roasting a sausage over an open fire is so romantic. I can't get enough of it. This open fire happens to be my former house. Maybe we could borrow a few sausages from your neighbors. What kind of camel is that? This is a specially trained firefighting camel. It carries all our gear without a grumble. And it manages the Cairo Luxor route in a mere eight hours. Could I borrow the camel? We're a fire brigade, not a camel rental. What is all this stuff you've got with you? My excellent fire axe. A ladder that nearly reaches up to the first floor. And of course, our moles. Moles? The hunters of the soil. Blind saviors of lives. Moles? They can dig tunnels to people who have been buried alive. They're simply mad about digging, the little imps. Burrow everything to pieces, they do. I'd say you bank on some strange help. Anything that helps us to get to inaccessible spots gets tried out. What kind of pump is that? The state-of-the-art Ferroonic Sand Extinguisher Pump. You can align it precisely and smother any fire with sand. And if there's one thing we've got plenty of here, it's sand. A wonderful invention. I expect my house to be extinguished by the time I come back. In our experience, every fire calls it a day at some point. Sometimes, even a few walls are left standing. Birds? They're specially trained for firefighting assignments. Sounds exciting. I'll test them in action when I get a chance. Which, of course, would put these blind little chaps right out of business. The moles are nuzzling up the earth. I love signs that prohibit things. Missed it. It's too hot to be picked up.
The nozzle is now pointing left. The nozzle is now pointing at the middle. The nozzle is now pointing right. The sand was deflected by the sun. It hit the small meteor and was baked to glass. A shining crystal ball. There you are! You do have a crystal ball. Then let's see how good you are. Eh? Watch that? I'm... A fire, of course. I'm asking you to soothsay a fire. No, oh, um, yes. Just a minute. I really need to concentrate. I'll be back with your hot tip, uh, your prediction, in a jiffy. He seriously wants me to predict a fire. Hello, Volcano. Hmm, like what? Volcano, I need a light. You started smoking? Asil, if you want to seem grown up, then you simply shouldn't run around in clothes like that. No, you've got to set a fire for me. Arson, not a chance. The Fire Breathers Code forbids it. Since when do Fire Breathers have a code? We've always had one. It regulates all the circumstances that ever allow us to breathe fire. And rule number three says, never play with fire where people can get hurt, or even worse, where things can be damaged. Oh, come on. You must have set something on fire just for fun at some point. Nope, never ever. All right. I expect it can't be helped. Volcano, you've got to ignite something for me. Nope. Nope. Never ever. I'm beginning to think you can't do it. You've already seen me breathe fire quite often. But not in this adventure. Oh, all right. You're not going to give up anyhow. But if anybody asks, it's part of a trick. Naturally. Well, let me know when it's time. Hello. You never give up, do you? So then, where is the next fire going to break out? The next thing to burn shall be the garden gnome. Which one? That ugly little thing back there? Precisely. Forsooth, it shall be the next to burn. Never. It's much too far from the house. Believe me, burn it well. Right now! Well, what do you know? That's great. We've got to report this to the rest of the guys right away. What wonderful progress in firefighting. Well then, off we go again. Nice seeing you. With expertise like this, I'd say we're on our way to completely new deeds. You could say we're all done here. Shouldn't we take our camel with us? Why? It munches our bread. The heavy pump hangs off it. And as of now, this honorable gentleman is always going to tell us in advance when there's a fire. So all we have to do is stamp it out. Fair enough. We'll leave it here. I believe that's my cue. This is where the sand comes out.
Who'd have thought that? I'm a natural born camel rider. Whoops! Ow! Stop, you stupid camel! Hold your horses! Oh my! Right, Ephraim. Jot this down. The history of all society until now is a tale of class conflicts. Far too dramatic. Nobody will ever read that. How about the authority posed by the modern state is merely a, a committee that administrates the common dealings of the entire ruling class? Phew! Too long! Nobody can remember all that. And what's more, the authority of the state isn't particularly modern at all. I've got an idea, too. Oh, no. Please don't, Shalom. How about may the ruling classes tremble in the face of revolution? We have naught to lose but the chains that bind us, yet all the world to gain. Wow. Shalom? How did you ever come up with that? You can't even cook couscous without turning it all sticky. Well, I let myself wander as I walked around the oasis. Hi, friends. Tara, does this mean you've already had enough of Home Sweet Home with a seal? There was an incident, and I desperately need your help right away. We can't. We're in the process of drafting our manifesto for the revolution against the Pharaoh. A battle of the gods is in the making, and we have to win it. No. We're in the middle of planning a new blow to bring the pharaoh down. And we've got soup cooking. The revolution will have to wait. There are more important things at the moment. Really. More important than revolution? Impossible. All of Egypt is in danger. We must travel to Luxor and help Asil in the battle of the gods. Well... If she's right, the revolution won't do us an awful lot of good either. Hmm. Good point. Why revolt if the ruling class has been eliminated anyway? So, are you going to help me? You do know you can always rely on us. And maybe we can burst the chains of the pharaonic capital while we're in Luxor. After all, Luxor is an unholy temple of unbridled consumption. Yes, well, maybe. But perhaps we'll stop the victory of the unbridled gods first? So then, let's go. We'll leave our manifesto here for now. I hope nobody copies it. And hurry up with the packing. We've got to meet up with a seal in Luxor at midnight. Um, Tara, would you mind telling me why you're wearing pajamas? That's a long story.